Welcome to the BSC. Thank you. Your menu, sir. Thank you. Mmm. I'm gonna eat all of these. I wanna learn how to make all of these. Then, you should take a look at this. It's a menu of exciting career possibilities. The Philippine School of Culinary Arts can show you how to make it all a possibility. The Philippine School of Culinary Arts? So you can learn everything about culinary, baking, and pastry arts. Take a closer look at the Culinary Arts Program. My name is uh, Chef Hisham Merwan. I am a Moroccan citizen and a resident chef at Philippine School of Culinary Arts. I was here since batch 1 up to batch 18, so meaning all the students are passing by by my hand. So I, to be successful in this field, first of all, you will have to decide with your own self. You have to be honest if you really love this field or not. So if you decided really then there are a lot of hard things to come. Uh, when they finish OGT, they, cannot, they will be graduated and they cannot be able to work anywhere around the world. They have already molded themselves with a good education, discipline and knowledge. Erickson Valayo. Uh, I'm a PSA graduate, batch 8. I graduated June of 2008. I'm the executive chef right now of Diamond Suites and Residences. It's right across Ayala. The challenge in the kitchen for me is when people ask my age and I say 21, the, 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 they thought, why, why should I get orders from a 21 year old? I mean, I've been cooking for 5, 10 years now. Basically, my response is because I know what I'm doing and I'm good at what I do. Thank you. But there's more than just cooking at the PSU. There's baking and pastry arts. Oh, really? I'm Nick Garcia. I am the resident pastry chef instructor at TSEA and I trained at the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology in Alberta, Canada. Also, I specialized in baking and pastry and went to the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. In our baking and pastry program, you will learn how to make breads, different kinds of breads like making croissants and danishes, making international pastries and uh, cakes of all sorts. You learn how to decorate uh, torts, uh, make gatos, and create some fancy desserts. What does it take to become successful in our program? Firstly, you must have a keen interest in food, particularly uh, breads and pastries. Secondly, you must be willing to undergo long hours of training discipline and focus, concentration. If you want to be a professional uh, chef or a pastry cook or chef, you need a professional training. The Philippine School of Culinary Arts is a professional school. Uh, it has a wonderful uh, program of study. We have brand new facilities around here and a very experienced chef instructors. Uh, my name is Jose Antonio. Uh, I graduated at BSCA in uh, 2007. So I decided 
to have my own ice cream business since you know since since I was a kid I always loved making ice cream I always love eating ice cream culinary school is is, is, is a part of you it's a, it's, a, it's a whole new world for you it's a career you want to be a chef so then you start to act like a chef culinary arts. So what can they expect to do after graduating from a culinary course? They can have various options. The most obvious, of course, is to work as a... They always start out as a cook in a restaurant and they can go to the top of the ladder where they can become executive chefs. There are those who go into catering. And of course, you can always be a food stylist. They can be photographers. They can be writers, of course, and food critics. I guess the opportunities for, for, for chefs, for cooks, is, is uh, so wide that it's uh, whatever you imagine to, to be, you can become. In our Ladderize program, we just chopped up the, the two-year two program into four ladders. The first ladder takes about approximately five months of studies. And uh, there, they learn everything that is basic about culinary arts. So anything that is uh, uh, required in most uh, hotels and restaurants in the world, uh, they would study during the first five months. And what we call the second ladder is they want to take additional subjects. So they study and take three more modules. And this module would include the uh, uh, baking module so they learn how to make breads as well. And then after the practicum, they can enroll again on the last slide, which is now the second year subjects, which are more specialized in depth subjects. We learned how to make these at the PSCA. The Philippine School of Culinary Arts invites you to take a tour of their brand new facilities in the Maxwell Hotel Annex Building, conveniently located on North Escario Street, Camputao, Cebu City. Or you can reach us by phone through our telefax number 032 505 4645.